Okay, so it's not exactly Mustang or anything to do with Sally, but it is promising <laughs> to shake up the automotive industry even more than Ford's iconic car did back in the 60s. So imagine being able to design your car on a computer screen, click mm -hmm. print, and then drive away in it just a few hours later. We got an exclusive sneak peek at the new micro factory making it happen. We've had flying cars. We've had talking cars. He took the bait and we hooked him real good. My, he does look upset. We've even had invisible cars. We call it the Vanish. Oh, very good. But now we have 3D printed cars, and not just in the movies. This is the world's first 3D printed car. Local Motors first brought the idea to life in 2014, printing its first car live for the whole world to see. Now the company has a new goal, to change not only how we build cars, but how we buy them. We call it design click print. You walk into one of our facilities, you choose the body you want, you might choose the powertrain you want, and then we print it while you wait, or you come back the next day and you pick it up. It all starts with a giant 3D printer and Legos. Sort of. This is the raw material. ABS plastic is what they make Legos out of. So the machine just sucks up all those pellets? Yeah, a little more technical than that, but <laughs> but but yes, that essentially, that, that's all you really need to understand. And using that 3D printer, the company can create anything from a prototype for a new vehicle idea, the body for an existing vehicle, and even the sign to go on top of the building. The result is not only a more customized car, but also no more dealerships and no more used cars. You had a two-seater and now you need a four-seater. We can strip the technology off and we can print you a new car. You melt the whole thing down and start over? It's recyclable. But of course, the big question is, how does it drive? I feel like a little kid. And while Local Motors is still working to get their cars highway ready, they have another project in the works too. Meet Ollie, the self-driving minibus that you can hail like an Uber. But don't take my word for it. Ollie, what are you? I'm Ollie, a low-speed electric self-driving vehicle. That's so cool. Ollie both talks and drives with the help of IBM's Watson. Watson, who is Franz Liszt? You are right. Yep, Hello. that Watson. And here's how he works with Ollie. Ollie, I'm hungry. Where can I get some food? National Harbor has some great seafood. Would you like that? That sounds great. What's good? Well then, try the Crab Cake Cafe. All right, I'll go there for dinner. Okay, but don't forget your umbrella. There is a severe thunderstorm warning tonight. And while Ali wasn't quite so seamless with me. What is Ali? I'm sorry, I did not understand your question. He was still good for a laugh. Ali, tell me a joke. It is so cold outside, I saw a politician with his hands in his own pockets. <laughs> Ollie's a comedian, too. Ollie's are now being tested on the streets of National Harbor, Maryland, and the company expects to launch pilot programs in Las Vegas, Phoenix, and several other cities in the next year. As for when you can expect to print your next car, this Knoxville Micro Factory is set to open in the spring, and Local Motors says many more are on the way. It was such a cool company to <laughs> yeah. explore, and what they say is because they want to have micro factories all over yeah. the country instead of one big one, they will tailor each car factory to local needs. So if you have uh, an area that creates biofuel, for yep. example, or biodiesel, they can create a car that operates on that. It was absolutely cool, and it seems as if the car went pretty fast. Uh, they go 25 miles an hour, that one, but the new ones go a lot faster. Nice. It's like a little go-kart.